So the first language we're going to be talking about is zero union one star, which is effectively all binary strings. We have this language called L1. And what we want to make is a context-free grammar for this language. Well, this has every single string in it, so we need to be allowing every possible string in the grammar that we make. Well, every single context-free grammar must have a start variable, well, a set of variables too, a set of terminals, and a set of rules. So we need a start variable. I'm going to call it S here. So this is the start variable. And we need a rule to actually generate the strings. Well, one string here that is obviously in this set is the empty string. So I need to allow ourselves to make the empty string. But we also have that no matter what string that we have made so far, we can always add a zero onto the end of it. That's also a valid string. And any string that we've made so far, these might not be the same, we may allow ourselves to add a one at the end. And no matter what string that we have, it's either empty or it ends in a zero or it ends in a one. And so therefore, no matter what string we've made so far, which is corresponding to this S right here, we need to allow ourselves to make a zero afterward, but also allow ourselves to make a one afterward. And so therefore, this is a context-free grammar for this particular language. Now, there are many other types of context-free grammars we could have made. We could have had some other variables right here. We didn't have to put the zero on the end. We could have put it on the front because the same logic will apply if we have made some strings so far. We can always stick a zero or a one on the front, and every string is either the empty string or it starts with a zero, or it starts with a one. So there are many different context-free grammars that we can make, but this is one of them for L1.